what I think makes a good love story is, um, first of all, you should have flawed characters. I like something that's very different, lots of anguish. Drama, a bit of mystery. There's always got to be, I think, a, a break-up in there, and then you find the right one eventually, I suppose. A classical notion of forbidden love. And there need to be a few spanners in the works. I want to see the little guy being successful and, make, and making the difference. Lots of adventure, so lots of sort of trials and tribulations, pains. A lovely ending, something a bit unpredictable perhaps. Some sort of love rival possibly. You have to think that they're not going to get together and then it all comes together just at the end so you're on the edge of your seat the whole way through. Each individual goes through so much alone and then there's the journey together. And If it was just, you know, two people meet, fall in love, everything's happy ever, I mean nobody's going to go there and watch it because you do need something to keep people's attention. A hero would be quite quite manly, but not too manly, not sort of Tom Jones manly. If they're too charming, the chances are they probably charm lots of ladies. Somebody who's, I suppose, courageous, um, you know, outgoing, willing to do anything for, you know, if, it's, if we're talking about love, willing to go that extra sort of mile. A typical um, handsome hero would be, for instance, Jude Law, The Holiday, that kind of thing. It's perfect. Just a great ending to a lovely story, and he is just the handsome hero. They don't necessarily all have to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, they, they can look like me. <laughs> Charm, um, attractiveness, um, someone with lots of money. <laughs> the hero has to be prepared to put himself on the line for the leading lady, definitely, even if it means fighting in a water fountain like in Bridget Jones. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have to be that physically attractive, but he should have the ability to brood. You know, he should have a brooding sort of presence. What I see um, in the heroine would be someone who's self-contained, who's confident. I very much like feisty, strong women. Someone a bit spunky. <laughs> Be a bit feisty, um, a bit like Jane in Jane Eyre and Elizabeth again in Pride and Prejudice. Someone who's quite forceful and willful and in the end then obviously they'll compliment one another. Scott be good looking I suppose that that helps in, in any <laughs> instance uh, they won't be interested in money they won't have any interest in that you know true love will mean everything to them